Welcome to Crack and Flip, guys. This is Richard. We have our second booster box of Revolt. Um, opening this on Friday. Um, the prices are probably going to be on Saturday. Opening weekend prices. So if prices look kind of weird by the time this goes up. That's the reason. Uh, we're going to go through this pretty fast because we got a lot to cover. Um, let me know since it'll, the weekend has already happened by the time this video goes up. Let me know how you guys are doing with your pack openings if you uh like the set or if you don't if you're disappointed in, in the way prices are going kind of like i am but we'll see this is our second box um unless i do really really well there will be no third because yeah so we'll see how it goes okay so here we go the first pack, skipping over the commons like always. What do we got here? Get Crackdown. First Mythic, not a good one. But we got our first Mythic down. So let's hope uh, we have something better than that coming up. Now this box is from a different store than the first box and the reason is because uh, it'll explain during Walking Ballista that's awesome 40 cent land so that's pretty cool the reason for that is that uh, you know even though I might buy a lot of these um, I don't ever buy cases because there's a set amount of stuff you can find in cases Usually boils down to one foil mythic per case. Sanctuary or inspiring. Uh, pretty good. <clears throat> Another dollar rare. Like I said, we're counting dollar rares because I can make play sets out of them. So we will be counting those. And I almost have enough to make a play set of most of the rares. A good rare uh, Peace Walker Colossus. Uh, cool card. Pull the foil on that one. In my free packs. But uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, you only have like usually one invection and one foil mythic per case. So, another good dollar rare. So, I like to open boxes from different stores, different cases. So, you better have better odds at finding more than one mythic. It's worked out for me so far. I found uh, quite a bit during the Kaladesh stuff. I found a good rare. Good rare. I found a Chandra, Torrential Gear Hulk, two Combustible. Uh, found Raya, I think her name is, the Planeswalker. That's got suddenly gone up in price. Found a foil of her. So yeah, done pretty well for myself by doing that. But at the same time, jumping around like that means you won't be guaranteed anything really good. But you never know. Trophy Mage, Dismissal, Racer, and the Scrapper. I'm gonna try to keep it clean this time around. It got really messy last time. We got Scrap Champion, Tusker, Touch. I feel like we've gotten that same thing again, Harvester. The same three cards, Uncommons, several times already. Keep an eye for that next time. Dismissal. And. We got a foil, Midnight Entourage, our first common foil, one I don't have, so I'm happy to see that. <clears throat> we got here Shock. You know, I've seen Shock as the first card of a lot of packs. Hornet, Racer, nice, a great rare. 
Oh, look at that. Damn. Oh, look at that. Sword of Body and Mind. I don't really know the prices on inventions, but yeah. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. It's going to go way off in the corner where nothing can touch it, nothing can hurt it. There you go. Got an invention. Finally pulled an invention, guys. So. Let me pick the box, too. <laughs> and number two box was calling to me. So, yeah. Fatal Push. Good card going off to the side. Cool. Good rare. Man, invention, finally. So. Depending on where that, that sword goes, might get a third box. Might get a third box. Let's get ourselves a good, good mythic, huh, shall we? Quick spy. And our foil rare. Um, kind of disappointing, because we're not going to get that uh, mythic rare, but still. Um, we just sold one of these, the promo, for like $5. So I think this one's like around 7 Don't quote me, the price will be on the screen. So pretty good. Pretty cool. Disappointing rare, but hey, we got an invention, so I am not going to hate on that. Let's find the heart. Let's find the Planeswalkers. Let's make this box epic. How shall we do that? And there we go. Planeswalker. Planeswalker. There we go. This box is becoming something kind of epic. <laughs> So let's see if we can get some high dollar mythics here. Continue the trend. Great box, man. Great box. And here's the Mimic. Another star card that hopefully goes up. I'm holding on to those. I will not sell those. I will ride the train on those all the way down to a dollar. I'll, I'll wait for the tournament to sell those ones. Just in case. You never know if something awesome. Sorry about that. I need a... Or something, um, construct. Because this is a good card. I think it's just waiting for the pros to play them. Because, uh, people just follow the pros now. You know, some cards go up because everyone knows they're good, but other cards, they just want to see them in the deck before they. Before they buy them, before the price goes up. Another mythic. Another low dollar one. Disappointing, there's three mythics right there. Hopefully, there's more than three. To help us make up the price of this box, man. Huh? There you go. Got the constrictor. Onslaught. I love the I love the look of that card. Crackdown. And another foil that we already have. I need to trade some of these foils out for ones I don't have. Because I do like collecting those foils. Another bad touch. I like to almost make foil play sets. Getting so many damn foils. They're the same thing. The giant. And Battle Off the Bridge. Oh, another emblem. That's cool. Not a pricey emblem. They're usually a dollar. This one isn't. This one's a couple... 20 cents, I think. Alright. Man. Still a lot of box to go. Dog Hand. Alright. A common foil. Another 40 cent land. Still a lot of box to go, but man, we already hit it big, so I guess we're just hoping for another mythic is what we're hoping for. We're still missing some of the high value uh, rares that are in the set. So there's that to look forward to. A dollar rare. There's that to look forward to. Alright, it's been kind of a lull, guys. It's a uh, get psyched up. Let's see if we can find something awesome. Let's keep the streak going. Renegade. 
breaker. There we go. It's dollar rare, but it's a good dollar rare. Right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Once again, that invention is way off in the corner. Nice and safe away from the mess that may be forming. But it's not too bad this time around. Hungry Flames. I have so many whales. I think I have a place at the whales already. Anyone even use those things? <laughs> I doubt it. Especially in the blue deck. I mean, there are very few cards you want to play in the blue deck. There's not really much variety in the blue deck. Another free jammer and a common foil. You have enough of these free jammers too, man. I have so many of those. Enough for a playset already. Three boxes and some free packs. So, I won't sell any of the play sets until after the tournament, making sure nothing. Fatal push. Only found two. Through at two so far. Pretty good. This is the first time I've seen her. Cool card. Only at two fatal pushes. Let's go for three or four. As of Friday, they're holding their value. One of the only cards that didn't drop in price as soon as uh, the cards went live. Here's the Oath. <clears throat> Almost down to the last six packs, I believe. Scrapture Champion, Trophy Mage. There's a high dollar rare. Or one of them. They do pretty good in that department. Pretty good. Well, see, like, we very found the invention for this case. Release of the Gremlins. So, even though I really like that guy, I'm not going to go back to his store until he opens another case. Because odds are, there's not another invention in what he has there. So, that's why I kind of keep track of where I've been. Okay, here's the recruit. I think we're missing a foil on common. If you guys watched those free uh, loose packs that I opened, it was a great uncommon foil pull that I have. And in the fourth mythic, it's crap. <laughs> Man, that invention is really saving us on that box. It's really saving us on this box. Hopefully it's a good one. I don't know yet, but you guys know already if it is. The price is on that screen. Guardian. Here's the last rare, I think. I think we have a couple more 40 cent land. A couple more good rares left, I think. We've gotten five mythics so far in our box last time. So let's go five again. Let's go five again. We got four. I feel like I never get four. It's always five or three. Or more. Like one of my other videos of. There we go. Commons. Let's go, guys. And a common shock. Cool foil. Three packs left, guys. Three packs left. Will it be the lucky ones? Will it be the lucky ones? One, another planeswalker. Come on. And another dollar rare. I think this might be the second one we pulled from her. I think she was in the first pack. <clears throat> I haven't played of her already. Right. Thunderer, Admiral, Bad Touch, Spire of Industry. Good rare. 
<clears throat> good land. See it in a lot of decks on Goldfish. I think there are isn't it four of the ten decks they have. Alright. Let's get a fatal push. Last chance. Nope. Last pack, guys. Oh, we had five mythics. Wasn't a good one. And there, look at that. Holy crap. Fatal push foil again. Damn. This is a great box. Great box. I mean, here's our winners for the day. No one cares about the other mythics, but I mean, man, look at that. These are our winners. Foil push. Sword of body and mind. And the planeswalker. I think we made the value. Not sure. You guys know. So if I did, got another box coming. Alright. This is Richard from Crack and Flip. You guys have a good one.